My name is Andrea and my stage name is La Quarta Corda. Well, it's not simple to describe a Japanese bondage performance. I can say that bondage for me is uh, essentially communication through the ropes. Uh, I can communicate with my partner speaking with words, uh, acting with gestures or using the rope. It's really the same thing but done in different ways. Well, bondage is not just uh, making a body sculpture or um, some macrame on the body with ropes. Uh, because the focus is not uh, the body or the position or the very hard suspension of the, or the pain. It's not this. It's the relationship. I'm not interested in a nice pattern on the body. I'm interested in a nice play with my uh, partner. So the focus is not the rope but the, the bottom and the relationship. Well, I never found someone who found my performances uh, like something uh, wrong or ugly or um, unrespectful. I saw often some people crying or remaining in silence at the end of the performance because what you see is a very deep and intimate intercourse between two people and uh, I think is something uh, stunning in a very deep way. Uh, Japanese bondage has a very important technical part also because it's a, a play that can be very dangerous if you do it in a wrong way. So I suggest to uh, follow classes workshop that you can find everywhere now in Europe and to not study on YouTube or on websites for two important reasons. The first is a safety reason. You can find a complete class online. Ropes are something real that you have to learn in real life with a good teacher. And the second that you can't understand the real meaning of the ropes uh, doing it just online. So technique, aesthetics and communication always go on the same pace and you can't uh, forget some, some of those aspects.